Truck 45. Vehicle Rescue. 8 Alpha, 8 Bravo. Interstate 805 Northbound. Metro Engine 14. And Hey, Alpha. Engine 14. Engine 14 is at scene of one vehicle. Here's the underneath the semi truck. This is the right shoulder. Northbound 805, south of Adams. Engine 14 is investigating. Engine 14 will establish 805 IC. Engine 14, I'm seeing one vehicle appears to be under the semi truck on the right hand shoulder. Northbound 805, south of Adams. Potentially is send 805 IC. We have one victim confirmed trapped. Extended ETA for extrication. One patient's been extricated. We also have a compromised fuel tank requesting hazmat to respond. Go, Katie, go here. Uh, it's down by, man, because it, it, there's still an active scene. You have all these fire marks. Okay. So it's still all this is evidence. So I'm gonna...
Sir, we got called out to a rescue traffic accident, 805 North, south of the uh, 8 freeway. When units arrived, they found one vehicle underneath the semi tractor trailer. There's two patients. One was self extricated meaning they came out on their own. And the uh, second patient looked, appeared to be the driver, and she was pinned by the, uh, the rear tires of the tractor trailer. Uh, so rescue response brings out our uh, urban search and rescue, the technical rescue team uh, responded and uh, the full extended ETA extrication uh, took us about almost an hour to uh, get the patient out. The patient seems to be in uh, critical status in extricated and transported to the hospital. I know there was multiple plans on uh, getting her out. Uh, what was the, uh, so you guys ended up just, just cutting her out? You, you guys didn't move the truck at all, did you? No, we didn't have to move the truck. Our primary plan was to uh, take air out of the, the tires of the vehicle, creating a gap between where she was pinned and where she was sitting. Uh, that plan didn't work, uh, so then we went ahead and removed some body parts from the vehicle, such as the door, the roof, trying to create a bigger gap. Uh, ultimately, uh, we also had a heavy wrecker coming in case we had to lift the uh, trailer off the vehicle. Uh, what we ended up doing was setting up a mechanic mechanical advantage and moving the vehicle away from, from uh, where the patient was pinned, just monitoring the patient's status, making sure the moving of the vehicle didn't cause more injury than she had, already had. Uh, we also had a fuel leak. That is a uh, refrigerator truck, uh, trailer, I'm sorry. And so we had a fuel leak on the, uh, the refrigeration part of the trailer. It was a diesel leak. We called our hazmat team out. Hazmat team came out and mitigated the fuel leak. As far as moving the trailer and uh, dealing with the vehicle, that's going to be on the heavy record that's on scene and CHP. Thank you, sir. Thank yeah, you. You're welcome. Media is 97. Media 97, so far as...